please make sure that you have the homework from Friday out. It's Quick Pick 11. If you have been absent, because there was a lot of you that were absent last week, uh, for right now, just get up and get a piece of paper. Unless you still have this book, it's just the new um, Quick Pick Book 3. Um, there are a few extra ones, but I, honestly, I would rather you just do this on a piece of paper. And that way, when I get back tomorrow, we can figure out who needs a book. That way, uh, everybody has what they need. So, the homework from Friday. Uh, we did number one, where we said the first number is your inside number, and the second number is your outside number. We even said that you were going to put a little yellow decimal point at the end, because anytime we have decimal division, I need you to move that decimal to the back. So if you make one loop outside, then I need to make one loop inside. This now would turn into 55, because the decimal's at the back, and 0, 1 is just 1. Then your decimal comes straight up, and we have 55 divided by 1. But 1 can go into 5 5 times, and 1 can go into 5 5 times, so 1 can go into 55 55 times. If you don't have it, then I'm expecting you to do this in your own book. A lot of you have, especially my homeroom because I had you show it to me, a lot of you have the two fives, you just don't have the decimal in the right spot. So make sure you show me where it goes. We've been working on stuff like number two. It says Fabian has five oranges. She wants to share with eight players on the basketball team. Which equation shows how much orange each player will get? Well, we're not cutting up the people. What they're splitting and sharing are the oranges. So we're going to take the five oranges and we're going to divide by the eight people. We've been working on fractions as division. This is 5 divided by 8. And the only answer choice that shows me 5 divided by 8 is C. If you're my homeroom, most of you had it. Number 3, I, we got rid of explain. Uh, it just says a cooler holds 20 cups of water. There are 12 and 3 fourth cups of water in the cooler. Can the cooler hold an additional 6 and 5 six cups of water? There are a few ways you can do this. You could take the 20 cups of water and subtract what's already there and see if you have this much or more left over. Or you can put those two numbers together and then figure out, are you already over 20 or not? Okay. A lot of you, especially my homeroom, you tried to add these numbers together first. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take 12 and 3 fourths and I'm going to add 6 and 5 sixths to that. Now they're mixed numbers, so I'm going to do the backward C. I know that 12 times 4 is 48. That's 49, 50, and 51. So 51 over 4. 6 times 6 is 36. That's 37, 38, 39, 40, and 41. So I have 41 over 6. I know between 4 and 6, a common denominator that I could use is 12. So 4 times 3 would get me there. And whatever I do on the bottom, I need to do to the top. And 6 times 2 gets me there. Whatever I do to the bottom, I need to do to the top. 1 times 3 is 3. And 3 times 5 is 15. So 51 times 3 is 153. Still adding. 2 times 1 is 2. And 2 times 4 is 8. So 41 times 2 is 82. And 6 times 2 is 12. Now, I'm going to add these things together off to the side. That's 5. That would get me 13. That's 2. A lot of you, especially my homeroom, because you guys actually showed me your homework on Friday, a lot of you could get here and then automatically you just said no. But you have to stop and think. They're saying the whole thing can hold 20 cups. So she had 12 and 3 fourths. She's asking, can she put this much more in? If you can do all the work and get here, that's great. But you need to think about what it tells you. If you read this like division, that is 235 divided by 12. So I'm going to figure out what 235 divided by 12 is. I'm going to use this space up here. Here's 235 and 12. I know that 12 cannot go into 2 because it's too big. 
12 times 2 is 24, and I only have 23, so it really can only go in once. 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. If I do 115, 8 would get me 96. 9, that would be 18. That's 9 and 10. 12 times 10 is 120, so it can only go in 9 times. 115 minus 108, so I'm at 108, so 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115. That leaves me with 7. So 0, 19 is 19. I have 7 left over. My bottom number would be 12. That's what I'm dividing by. It's a lot of work. This said a cooler holds 20 cups of water. There are 12 and 3 fourth cups of water in the cooler. Can the cooler hold an additional 6 and 5 six cups of water? Yeah, it actually can. Because when I added those numbers together, those two numbers get me 19 and 7 twelfths. And 19 and 7 twelfths is less than 20. So yeah, it can hold that much more water. Now, that's a lot of work. If you have nothing... I'm asking you to write this part down and to show yourself that 235 divided by 12 is going to get you 19 and 7 twelfths. But I do want you to show me. It does work. We did number four. I asked you for two things that describe a trapezoid. This is a trapezoid, okay? Especially my homeroom, just because you guys had showed it to me, a lot of you had the term quadrilateral, which is perfect. You need it. It does have four sides, so it is a quadrilateral. But the only other name that goes with a trapezoid is just a trapezoid. A lot of you put one set of parallel lines. It does have one set of parallel lines, but that's just not a name that describes it. These are the two that you should have. If there is anything that you need to fix for homework, please just fix it. Now, I want you to flip the page. We are going to do quick pick 12. I am going to come around and sign for quick pick 12 tomorrow. If you do not have your book anymore, you've been absent, you don't have it anymore, unfortunately, you're going to have to write stuff down on a piece of paper. We are doing number one. I don't know if I brought a highlighter home. Uh, I do have one. Good. Okay. We're doing number one. What's the value of the underlined number? You're just going to tell me how much is the six worth? How much is the three worth? How much is the nine worth? How much is the four worth? If you know what place value it's in, then we should be able to figure out what it's worth. This four, I'm sorry, this six is in the hundredths place. So that six is worth six hundredths. So you do the rest. Number two, um, it's asking you for the area. The area is length times width. So Brittany has a piece of wood that is one-fourth foot long and three-fourths foot wide. The wood piece is shaped like a rectangle. What is the area of the wood? Well, they're both being measured in feet and its area. And you're multiplying two things together, so area is squared. You just multiply those two fractions and you'll be fine. Um, okay, let's see. She's two days old. How many minutes? Uh, we can just try it. What does five look like? Let's just try three. I'm going to circle it. At the very least, I'm going to ask you to write two things down for me, and then we'll just look at it uh, tomorrow. Okay, you would need to do two different things here. First thing that you would need to know is that one day is 24 hours. And that one hour is 60 minutes. They're saying some kid is two days old. They want to know how many minutes is equal to two days. If you can think you know how to try to solve it, solve it. If not, and you leave it blank, I'm fine with that. But at the very least, you need to write this part down for me. 
Number four wants uh, any term or as many terms that describe a square. There are five. I'm looking for five things. Which of the following is equivalent to six milliliters? And these L's are liters. I know it can't be this because that's milliliters and that's not what it says. Uh, milliliters to liters, I want you to divide by 10 to the third power. Now, if I went too fast for you, go back and pause me. But please make sure you write down everything that you need for your homework for tonight. If there is anything that you can't, well, I don't want to say that. If you need to leave number three blank, that's fine. But number one, number two, number four, number five, we can absolutely do those. And we'll go over number three tomorrow.